Namaste Soul Tribe, welcome to this pick a card oracle reading for Virgo season. So from August 22nd all the way to September 21st, 2024. We're going to look at the piles first, okay? And I'm going to have four piles according to the elements. So we are starting with Earth for Virgo energy air, water, and fire. So let's see what we have for this pick a card for the earth element. So some of you, if you'd like to use your zodiac sign, you can look at your sun sign, rising sign, north node, you know, um, just use your intuition. So for the earth, I feel this is this one. We have, ooh, okay, all right. So we'll just pile them. So earth, air, water, and fire. Okay, <laughs> this is how it's going. It seems like a Virgo energy for sure, <laughs> being organized. So pile number one with the earth element, you have ooh, stepping stones. Take the next step, simplicity and focus. Oh my gosh, the energy is gorgeous here. Okay, so let's see what we have for the pile for the air element. Pile number two, alignment. It's coming together, precision. Okay. <laughs> the water element, pile number three, with the secret chamber, potency, deep connection, and treasure. And pile number four with the fire element, see the beauty, gratitude, the sacred is everywhere. Wow. All right. Look at these cards and pick according to your intuition or your zodiac placement sign. All right. Let's get to the messages. Pile number one, or oh, the earth element. You have chosen the stepping stones. Let's get some more cards for you. All right. This is the Akashic Tarot uh, that really felt like something that was being brought from past lives, especially as Virgo's energy is very much connected to, you know, self-mastery. I feel like there is some type of potential uh, that wants to be brought back. Let's see what else we have. Okay, I'm going to take two here. And we'll use the tarot cards after. So let's see here what we have for you. We have the garden. A lot of green with the five of roses. There might be a specific detail. You know, Virgo is very attentive. Specific detail, looking at the small things. And when you do, there's... Oh, I thought he was holding... Is he holding a scope? Oh, no, he's... <laughs> I don't know why, but I thought he was holding a scope, this little child. But he's holding... I don't even know how you call this. Um, you know, like to throw little rocks. Uh, but I felt like there was a certain vision. When you look at the small details of gratitude of your life, there's a greater perception, almost also like shooting further, able to go further in your life, in your goals. Hmm. We have the owl spirit. You see clearly now. And the wombat spirit, be at home. You know, it's interesting, but I had like a, this type of illusion effect where I felt like this space was actually a gem. And I feel that's a message for you as far as your sacred heart, your sacred space, having um, the sacredness of 
coming back to yourself, you know, on a daily basis will help you see clearly as if, you know, like this little boy's energy is connected to the vision. And here, this little girl's, you know, uh, energy looking at the small things is helping activate something deep, some type of deep connection to source. A lot of green again, even this gem. You know, the emerald energy is associated with Archangel Raphael and Archaea Virtue. There's, and I'm hearing when I said virtue, I heard it like, I hope it's the same word in English, but in French it's virtuose, virtuosity, you know, it's like, but it's not the virtue as a quality of character, but it's more like an expression of a skill and talent. Okay, so we said like about Mozart, being a virtuose, um, hopefully that makes sense in English as well, but I feel that there's an activation here through the month or through the season of Virgo for you pile number one that is very much connected to the realm of nature, which holds a lot of the sacred geometry of abundance, how to prosper through the teachings of Gaia. Yeah. How to, wow, I got chills everywhere down my legs as if I was receiving some type of codes. And it's interesting because you see how she's literally almost, almost as if she's floating in between realms, in between the reality and the etherical um, realms. Now with this tree energy, it reminds me of the tree of life. There's something you're activating that is very ancient, pile number one. And it's coming first from retreating within. Finding within yourself the space. Some of you, maybe you need to create more space for yourself, more space for your rituals, more space for being with yourself, sitting with yourself, asking yourself, how am I doing today? How am I feeling? Um, you know, kind of like creating this, this ritualistic observation of your own garden. So when you go out in the world, you're being called to the opportunities that are in alignment with your sacred space. Okay, and that means that the nurturing of that sacred space, then when you're going out, it's reverbing and you're going to create an outside reality that is going to be almost matching. I'm seeing it as a process, matching the magical experience that you're already nurturing inside of yourself. As if you're being shown how to care for your own garden of intention, how to grow, how to build a solid foundation for you to create according to your heart, according to also your soul, okay, with that crown activation. And then the same, you're going to create and see the visions of the world, the reality that is meant for you. Okay, so that's great. For now, I'm, I'm hearing. <laughs> I don't know, it must be Virgo energy that I'm hearing. It's like, okay, great, but um, how do I get there? <laughs> this is where the tarot is going to help us. How does pile number one get there? If they're feeling, you know, in that process, but... Can we get more details about the steps, okay? Almost like a dance, okay? I feel for you, pile number one. Can we have some details about those steps? You know, it's funny. I'm just, I'm looking around my table and I'm, I'm seeing this little liquid paper uh, thing. But the word liquid, you know, I feel like there's something about being flexible like water. You know, I remember having, and maybe it was for this. I've been hearing in my head uh, this 
this trend that's been on social media about, you know, not needing to be everyone's cup of tea and then hearing your champagne. And a part of me were like, I heard that the first time I was like, Champagne? I wouldn't want to be champagne. I don't like champagne. I mean, I, I don't mind it, but I'm not, I don't want to be champagne. <laughs> so and I had like, and I was like asking myself, what do I want to be? And then I like, naturally I was like, I want to be water. And I was like, wow. Like, and there was like this whole series of downloads from wanting to be water, you know, just simple water. Cause it was part of everything. So I feel like there's, there's through Virgo season, really some downloads are coming from the emotional field and the more you tend to your emotional wellness okay the more clear the steps are going to come forward okay so already before even looking at the cards we're getting some of those details okay and i even feel this one okay all right Let's see what we have. You know what? I want to look at this middle one. <laughs> All right. Ooh, of course I do. Look at this water. <laughs> wow. This is like working with source. Pile number one through Virgo season, you're learning how to work with source. And by the way, this is going to be a lot of the collective energy here because this is the earth element pile number one okay some of you if you're watching this just to have an energy message for the collective energy of virgo season working with source we're learning collectively but also especially you if you were called to this pile how to work with source energy so let's see what we have for this aspect which i feel is might be just more connected to this aspect of the pile the high priestess again lo lots of downloads lots of downloads work with source work with your crown work some of you you might know i do offer high priestess readings because they're the ones connected to the moon you know if you look at my astrology forecast i work now solely around the moon cycles because this is where the sun and the moon merge is through the third eye there is this sacred dance that allows us to unveil cycle after cycle certain things we now are ready to receive but before that was hidden okay so you're working with the hidden here work with the aspect of yourself that needs to be revealed to you and don't try to think and force what they are it's going to be revealed and i think that those are the steps so i feel like i'm not getting so far very precise guidance because it's up to you it's really your own path you see how the path it's like a path that is being created the steps are going to be revealed to you through that sacred space that you're allowing for yourself and that's going to be different for everyone how that looks temperance bring a space for heart mind coherence and usually just like balance very well for virgo season your um your work and play ratio okay and if that means if some days you need more rest allow this this is this is um you know sagittarius energy as far as a zodiac archetype in light work this is about manifestation you know sagittarius so it's showing you know again I didn't even see it. The sun and the moon work with the sacred dance. Some of you, if you are part of the star seed rise up, you know, YouTube membership, make sure that you align with the new moons and full moons, you know, um, rituals. I do have live sessions, energy sessions. Some of you, if you're interested, you can look down below for joining our soul family um, there and do some energy work. So there's going to be through the cycles of the moon and sun, some revelations, be aware of those times, be aware of those cycles, be aware of those dates. Wow. And you shall expand again, a lot of 
vision. Again, I know he's not, he's, he's actually shooting and I'm hearing shoot for the stars. Some of you, I'm not surprised, I've been really receiving, you know, the activation of star seed, which is really your star potential. You, the way you're connected through the cosmos, through your natal chart, allows you to receive specific downloads, specific guidance that comes as you allow the cycle and the sacred dance of the cosmos to unfold and show you with more clarity. You see how there's like three ones, three fires? This is triunity. Again, so many messages about working with source here. Pile number one, this cycle, this season, you're working with source. You're being trained on how to dance and navigate, you know, uh, your reality and your creation in the most sacred ways. And I'm hearing in the most ancient ways. Hmm. Let's get some clarity here with this side. Okay, the strength. I'm not surprised. You know, there's, there's this energy of leadership, the revelation. You know, maybe some of you, it's through the Lion's Gate portal that you started to activate something you know, this color red, it's almost like connected to the root chakra, something that you planted as a manifestation that you intended to manifest on earth that probably got activated through Leo season, through the Lion's Gate portal. Some of you, maybe you want to rewatch uh, the Lion's Gate portal, see where um, that energy is. Okay, so I'm going to write it down so I can put maybe some of the videos in case you don't see the videos. And sometimes because I have too many little links to put, I will put them down below as well. Okay, let's see what else. The Page of Cups. It's a little piglet here. You know, the pig is, is very, very intelligent. It's actually been studied that they're smarter than dogs. Um, and there's something about using your mind wisely. And I feel like, look at this, this little heart shape. It's about making sure that when you create your, I was going to say your star, star space, <laughs> when you're creating your space for your heart, you know, your meditation, make sure that you focus on the good aspects of what you can control, okay? Because in that space, then you can shift the energy of the things that might make you feel unsettled. Because, you know, here it's stepping stones, but you can see, I mean, have you ever watched like those um, Indiana Jones <laughs> movies? And you have to go and step on the stone and I'm like watching it and they have to jump and make those leaps and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, I need to go follow. Okay, so that's that's what I'm, I'm feeling also. It's like, it, they're not all connected. It's not like a, a, a path that feels, you know, so stable. They seem like almost floating also. So there could be some fears and it's showing through those cards that trusting how you are being led by your heart that is in sacred resonance with your soul and with Gaia's crystal heart. Some of you, you know, I work with frequencies and in music technology and resonance, your heart chakra is in perfect fifth, perfect unison with your soul star chakra and the earth star chakra. So trust in that connection. And really, this is what I feel for you, pile number one. That's the work for this season. Work on that sacred connection and trust it. The tower. This is going, and you know what? I remember when I used to see a lot of the intensity of the energy work that I was working with manifest with thunder or lightning and it would almost like be a symbol of a, a drastic shift there's a drastic shift 
that is going to come from going within. And I do not feel you should fear it. But the fear is also a call that there's something behind it. I don't know if some of you ever... Like, how's your reaction to things that are unknown? Because this is a path that is soul aligned. And that means that it's not known fully by the mind, but it is revealed step by step as you are in frequency alignment with that balance between your heart, soul, and the earth. And that means that some of you, pile number one, there's going to be something that needs to let go. We're going to quickly look at what needs to be let go here. Maybe there's some details. I feel like some of you, there might be some worries. Okay, what are those worries? Mm. Four of Swords and Nine of Cups. What's interesting is that with this energy that I feel is that some of you, if you're trying to over do overthink, you're going to create more stress. I feel that there's a lot of restoration through the nervous system that's going to help you. Some of you, maybe there's trauma healing that I would, I would say here for you, pile number one, go and check out my my empath survival kit, okay? Um, I will link it there. There's a playlist with womb healing, auric field detoxifier, you know, some of you, few YouTube members, uh, the Kundalini Rise Up. Uh, you can work with um, your heart and womb recalibration, okay? I feel that some of the fears are stemming from past unhealed, unprocessed traumas, okay? And maybe because in the past, certain things did not manifest and didn't give you the fulfillment, but they're ready. Realize that maybe you had to go through certain contrast. I'm feeling that some of you, you were attached to certain heartstrings. Maybe some of you, you had to experience some type of emotional strings attached, emotional blackmail, you know, some type of like, there was some type of, of hard strings. It's almost as if like maybe people like told you like, hey, if you really loved me, you would do this or you wouldn't do this. Keeping you from that very sacred calibration to be on your path. And again, you have to experience it because then when you're able to say no to certain people, certain situations, certain patterns, then it has much more power. It has much more fulfillment. Mm -hmm. Let's see if there's anything else for you. Oh, okay. I'm trying to take the cards. I can see those two cards are here. Is there anything else that pile number one needs to know for this cycle here? Oh, wow. I mean, look at this. The full card. I feel it. So there's a renewal. There's a renewal. A lot of purple. There's a you're 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 calling in new timelines, new manifestation through all the energy work that you've been providing for yourself. Mm-hmm. And look at this, the Six of Cups. Wouldn't be surprised. And that's that's a very strong call that I've been feeling, you know, collectively. There's a lot of soul gathering, soul family, soul tribe gathering. This is beautiful energy because as you start being more in alignment with your most authentic self, you're sending out this very high frequency that is recognized by the ones that are on that same vibration and that vibration is just being authentic with yourself and that means that there's not going to be the same old drama or type of maybe recreation of some of those patterns because you're going to focus more on that soul alignment pile number one yeah that's what i have for you 
So that's it for you, pile number one. How exciting. I cannot wait for you to experience those new connections, but especially as it stems from within yourself. If you want to start joining the uh, Soul Family YouTube membership, you can have all the details accessed down below. I'm sending you many blessings and much love and light. Namaste. If you chose pile number two with the air element, beautiful card that speaks of alignment. Now, what's very interesting is that when I'm getting myself ready for readings, there's a certain energy that is being channeled. And before your pile, my dear one, I had to take a break and I had to go to the gym. I had to address my well-being. And I feel this pile is strongly a continuation of an extension also of pile number one, which is, by the way, if you want a collective message, pile number one with the earth element is going to give you an impression of Virgo season, okay? But there's a lot of stone, okay? So that's mean like there's a lot of steps, things that you've learned along the way. You know, even some of you, maybe you're into sacred geometry, working with symbols, working with sounds, okay? You have a, a bunch of tools, you know, of awareness, things that make you feel in alignment with your soul. And I feel like this month, this season, is going to be you rehearsing a certain vibrational alignment. So let's see the cards for you. We'll use the tarot cards for more details let's move a little bit to stones here to crystals all right Let, okay <laughs> all right pile number two okay it seems that there's decisive energies for you for this season okay let's see what else do we need to know okay all right well you already have <laughs> The energy, ooh, three cards, a surprise. All right, let's see, because they're already showing themselves. We have first the giraffe spirit with see the bigger picture. Beautiful energy. The canary spirit, sing your own song. Oh, I love this. And Time for beginner mind with the porcupine spirit. Mmm. Mmm. You see pile number two? Remember how I said you have like a set of tools, a set of things that you use for personal soul alignment? And I feel that through the season, there is this, almost like as if there's a new level for you. Like as if the tools themselves, your practice, whatever you implement, you know, your uh, way of harmonizing your wellness, your uh, spiritual self with your physical self, how to balance your emotional self, like how you were already implementing those things, their, their practice, your practice of those tools is turning and shifting them into something greater. There's greater alignment. There's as if the tools are teaching you something greater. As you practice for your own way, your personal tools of alignment, be ready for Virgo season to be up-leveled. To be, I, I really, there's a lot of like hand gesture that I'm feeling for you. So maybe some of you, you like to work um, with your hands. Maybe you're into Reiki or some of you, you may be starting to channel some type of light language that is activating your whole body into um, moving. Okay, some of you, if you are part of the Starseed Rise Up YouTube membership, that's some of the things that I do through my meditations, through my healing sessions. If you're interested, you'll have all details down below to join the YouTube Soul Family membership. All right, let's see what we have here. The Queen of Keys. Wow. I feel You see with this energy, if you chose pile number two, okay, with this air 
element. It seems that you already have a lot of mastery. It's a queen level. You already have a level of awareness, of practice that is allowing you to feel, you know, this type of sovereignty, this type of grasp uh, and sense of yourself. And yet, it's as if she's looking out for something greater. So there is an up-leveling. That's, that's a definite for you. And we're going to ask through the tarot cards, what are those up-levels? Or how do they come about? How do they come about more precisely for pile number two, those up levels? What do we need to know? Ooh, the chariot. Okay. Through transcending your duality, but especially also addressing how you feel. Why do I say this? This is a card that represents the zodiac sign of cancer. Cancer is a heart healer is a healer so your your healing practice you attending on how you feel making sure that you feel open to sing your song okay making sure that you address your personal alignment is part of this up leveling it's like inviting you to continue this type of practice now with the Cancer um, archetype, I want to share that some of you, uh, you might want to know that the organ that is connected to the Cancer archetype is the spleen. So some of you, if you want, pile number two, go and listen to the spleen organ frequency, okay? Um, that's going to help you. And if you are part of the YouTube Soul Family membership, I would suggest the 33 vertebrae. And why am I saying this? It's because you, um, cancer is the, and the spleen, is the only organ that is connected to all 33 vertebrae. When I learned this, I was like, whoa, that's like really deep. So some of you working with this organ is going to help you find maybe you know, it's like a chain reaction, you know, 33 steps of ascension, 33 um, connections to different ramification, okay, different stones, maybe some have been not yet, you know, I'm hearing, do not leave any stone unturned, as if you have to address maybe something that has yet to be seen, okay? So there's the up-leveling, okay? And I feel like it's almost like looking at how a certain pattern, a certain type of revelation, or through your own practice, you're seeing further. You're seeing beyond what you could see before. And you were already seeing quite above you know, the average person. I would say like pile number two, you've, you've done a lot of energy work. I can, I can sense that you're addressing your energy on a probably daily basis, you know, but there's an app level. It's very fascinating. I'm, I'm okay. All right. It, it, the, the bottom card was really felt like it was like stuck and that's usually the shadow. So we're going to address the shadow. Is there a shadow? Maybe there's this stone that has been left unturned that wants to reveal itself. Let's look at this. Oh, wow. The sun. Huh. You know what? The sun is connected to the front of your third eye. What I'm seeing is that, and that's connected to, you know, our personality, but also our self-expression. Now, I feel like you, some of you, there's a, a new perception of yourself that is coming into blossom. You know, it just really feels like um, a sunflower that you're like literally re-emerging through a new essence. So I feel like what is limiting you is actually not really limiting. It's just the process 
of rebirth. You're being reborn through those cosmic energies through Virgo season into continuing your practice that is going to up-level you to a different perception of yourself. So some of you, I would say, if you feel through the season any type of limitation, know that it's not. Know that you're actually going through. It's funny because my screen just went on like dark, you know, as if it's paused. So if you're feeling any type of like unknown darkness, no pile number two. This is because you're needing to be open-minded for the new maybe ways to navigate what you're being taught. Some of you, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a lot of, um, a lot of initiation energy. Some of you are just being initiated to a new way, a new way to address maybe a specific topic to address your routine. Okay. Maybe there's a shift here. But especially the way maybe you see yourself, talk about yourself, define yourself. I'm hearing, okay, yeah. Some of you, there were some limitations maybe you did not know subconsciously about the way you spoke about yourself. Interesting. Mm -hmm. It's going to, there's, there's a shattering that I, I can feel, you know, through this alignment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would say for you, pile number two, uh, if you are a part of the uh, star seed rise up, I will have a Virgo um, sun activation that might support you here. We'll have a live meditation to bring this Virgo energy and its teachings. Let's see what else. Okay. All right. We got a whole little teaching here. So that, I feel like that was... Part of that limitation. Oh, we have a surprise card. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see what we have at the center. Oh, the lovers. Okay. Very yin yang energy. Very much about balancing your emotional body, your mental body. Okay. All right. Let's see what we have. We have the page of pentacles. Oh, and we have also... The lawnmower. <laughs> the landscapers. Okay. And the eight of wands. Okay, this is interesting because I feel like with this background noise that just showed up. Okay. And there's a lot of circle. It's almost like pay attention to your surrounding. Pay attention to the synchronicity of your surrounding. Pay attention to the communication with your surrounding, you're going through a phase where the universe is sending you pieces of an elements of this new way, this new awareness, this up leveling. And it's, it's coming from your personal alignment. Okay. But also being open that there is some type of shift that you have to allow at this time. Okay, and if it feels uncomfortable, uh, know that I, what I recommend was the spleen organ and the vertebrae. And some of you, if you meditate, will have that energy. Okay, it's upcoming. Uploading. I mean, <laughs> some of you, I feel this is also something that I want to share that you might not realize, but it's already in the process. So try to quiet your mind because it's already in the motion. It's just needs for the energy to catch up to your mind so you can understand what's happening. Be comfortable with the process, pile number two in the air element. Mm -hmm. The Empress card and the Two of Swords. Okay, there's a lot of guidance through the vibration of Gaia. It's asking you, you see here with like the beginner's mind is showing you like, make sure you're in alignment with your heart and mind. And that means that some of you, I feel if 
you're struggling, another tool that I'm going to give you. And again, if you don't see the videos that appear here, it's because I have too many <laughs> that I'm suggesting because there's a certain amount I can't go beyond. But I'm going to start listing all of those recommendations for the pile in the description of the video. It is very important to me to give you and provide you with vibrational soul alignment tools because if you're watching you know um this type of readings it's because you know there's something here there's a stone to be turned okay so what i wanted to share for some of you here um i'm going to suggest the astral body okay uh if you are feeling this imbalance there could be some uh, astral body healing and for some of you if you have access to the youtube membership then address it through the nervous system generation regeneration okay because the mind seems to sometimes be overactive for you pile number two okay and that's where we're going to support you with this type of alignment okay so let's see now now that we know that we have to quiet the mind because really here there's more of a guidance of an energy practice you're practicing what feels in alignment with your heart with your soul there's definitely here also the support of the earth what else does pile number two need to know about this guidance this new up leveling page of swords you might you might want to stay very curious about certain topics like imagine like you're watching anything you know it could be on any social media platform it could be you hear something on the radio or see a commercial on tv uh, and it ra raises your curiosity be curious okay be curious i'm hearing um you know okay i'm gonna share it with you <laughs> a little trick okay so sometimes i have so many ways to communicate with spirit but um one of my favorite thing is to actually pay attention to people that comment on my page or comment or whatever or just communicate with me and that i especially the ones i don't know um i look at the meaning of their name and, and usually there's an energy, you know, if uh, someone with a particular name, I'm like, hey, I've never heard that name. I wonder what it means. Or sometimes they come with a full combination, first name, last name. And I just feel it. This is something like, and it makes me always look up. Hey, what does that mean? And it never misses when I'm curious about someone's name's meaning. Or sometimes I happen to meet people randomly or you know whatever places i am and people introduce themselves and they have like interesting name and i'm like do you know what your name means and i have like those m magical conversations that start out of this little habit of mine because i really love the meaning and the see well you know the meaning under the words so not just well obviously names but sometimes what is the root of a certain word um, obviously, you know, if you watch my Instagram also and my YouTube shorts, I love quotes. There is something here definitely about when you're receiving an information, then go look it up. Maybe some of you, it's going to be through animals. You know, uh, recently the little flamingo energy showed up, which I didn't even know was part of this deck. And in this deck, the flamingo talks about the in-between. And I thought that was just such an amazing added message to the reel that I had created, which was all about, you know, following your bliss, that whatever you were feeling called to do was to be, was actually leading you to your purpose. And here it was adding like a message like, yes, you're in that in-between stage, you know, and we are collectively in that in-between stage where we're learning ways a little bit different because... That's how we grow, okay? So that's one thing. Is there anything else for pile number two to help them, support them, to up-level? Okay. Oh, wow. The emperor. Okay, for some of you, you know, here, I, I'm being called to look at the chess piece. Oh, this is interesting. I never paid attention. I'm pretty sure it's the bishop. 
Uh, so there, and the emperor always asked me that very, um, you know, source archetype energy a little bit with the empress. Okay, so that means like I feel that there's some type of strategy about how to organize yourself, how to maybe align the pieces of the puzzle. Okay, some of you maybe, you know, at some point I remember I used to always meditate and then write write down my notes as as if it was I did 10 years of dream journal I, I kid you not <laughs> 10 years of dream journaling and then I started doing meditation journaling and now it's like with with practice you're just more able to be present through those moments and kind of recapture and remember those those energies so I feel like some of you maybe making sure that you take notes about maybe some of those information but again, I felt like when I was shuffling the cards that I had to stop here. <laughs> and that a lot of the uh, secrets is going to be, first of all, very particular to you because there is a specific vision. There is a specific landscape that you're creating through your connection to source. Okay. So that's what I have for you, my dear pile number two. I'm sending you many blessings, much love and light. And remember to like this video as it supports the channel to grow. If you want to support me further, you see down below all the options for the YouTube Soul Family membership. I'm sending you many blessings and I'll talk to you soon. Namaste. Pile number three or the water element. You have the secret chamber. Let me reread this for you. Potency, deep connection, and treasure. Let me look closer. Wow. There's like some type of activation back there that's going on. As if it's inviting you into this unknown to reveal something precious to you. Interestingly, um... To prepare for your energy, I really felt called to take a shower, dress up. I wouldn't say up, but, you know, kind of like put something that made me feel empowered. I love red. Um, but also very comfortable. So there is something about maybe how you present yourself to the world is being up-leveled. There's a new image, there's a new way of expressing yourself that makes you feel powerful because of the potency, and yet very much connected, deep connection and treasure. So there seems to be messages for you, pile number three, or the water element, through the Virgo season of a very deep alignment with a part of you, I would say it could be also an ancestral part of yourself. Mm -hmm. Let's look at what the cards are going to express to us, which is the point of why we're here. <laughs> so we'll use the tarot cards for, um, you know, precision, guidance, and we're just going to continue with this stream of information here. Oh, it's interesting, stream. There's something about water definitely for you. Maybe there's a specific connection that you have. I feel two cards for you here. And I feel I want to look at it before we look at this. Be ready through Virgo season, pile number three, to do things a little bit differently. I would say almost step by step, because you're entering a phase that seems unknown to you, yet it's pulling you. You know, it's like it's calling you in. Yes. All right, let's see what we have. Whoa. Archangel Michael. I didn't even know this deck had this energy. Wow, look at this. <gasps> There's such a beautiful merge between, uh, you know, I, I received a vision through um, the New Moon in Leo live energy session where my inner child started to have a companion where I was seeing that both my feminine inner child and masculine inner child showed up 
And I was like almost like a surprise, which made my uh, feminine inner child really laugh. <laughs> almost as if like, well, you didn't think we came in pair? <laughs> um, so I feel there's almost like this new chapter where you're realizing, okay, maybe a deeper connection. So for me, it was this, and you know, I love to uh, teach through illustration and I love sharing my stories because, you know, it's, it's, I love other people's stories. So I love, you know, sharing stories and those are the shamanic ways. So maybe some of you, there's a connection that is very much of the ways of nature, how to bring more heart into our connection to nature. There might be a connection to you through this season, to children, to animals, to nature, that is being really enhanced. Maybe a part of yourself you didn't know was there. Wow. Hmm. You know, I'm just being curious because I don't know what it relates to. Where is this card? Let me, let me find it for you. Okay, so it says here, the Archangel Michael is a channel of divine power. He is seen here sharing his energy with two small children, bringing them great strength and support. He is about to pick up the boy and he can help you lift your energy too. Mm. When you receive this card, know that your energy reflects Michael's amazing strength. This can be a cycle of increasing power for you. One where you feel your courage growing and you know what action to take next. Trust your convictions, your power, and your resourcefulness. Michael Upright, which is what we had, heralds a time of greater courage, force, initiative, and action, so don't delay. He's right there with you, so tap into the dynamo <laughs> within you and take the action that compels you. With Michael and your own power, you can move mountains and lift yourself to new heights. You see, it's, I find it so interesting about what I share with you as far as the preparation for your reading pile number three. I needed the water to cleanse, you know, and I wanted an empowering color what made me feel empowered. And the message here is coming up strongly. And it seems that it's an energy that's going to help you go into that secret chamber. And also, this is where you find there that it gives you more power. Hmm. Yes. Oh, the five of roses, the garden. So some of you, this was the card, one of the cards for pile number one. So maybe if you feel that there's an additional message that wants to come forward or you hesitated with uh, pile number one, that could be something. That's also the collective energy, okay? Um, in that reading, there was a lot about the stepping stones, uh, stepping into that new field of creation. Okay, I feel this is going to be like this. Yeah, what different setting you, you're almost like demanding. It's almost like for some of you through Virgo season, you're going to feel the demand of your soul to approach things very differently. It could feel unusual, but at the same time, it's almost like switching up your routine and then feeling such space for it and being like, oh, why didn't I think about this before? Why was I doing this this way? Why was I putting myself so much pressure? Mm. Some of you were putting a lot of pressure through those patterns. You know what? I know this is a little bit um, different, but I feel like some of you, you might want to, if you felt that you've had some um, deep trauma into your life, I would say and suggest I have a great playlist, uh, which is my empath survival kit, which I am going to link here. And I'm also listing all my frequency down below because there's a certain amount I can't, um, you know, go beyond <laughs> with, with uh, YouTube. But I also want to add a video that's not mine. And that's uh, called like the 11 oddly, uh, you know, childhood trauma. And I remember when I watched this, I 
was amazed how I I just heard that some of the trait of characters that I thought I was were actually trauma responses. So there's something here that some of you, you're discovering and that lets you totally reframe yourself. Like you're able to step into a new era. Okay, so I'm going to put it all there. And let's see. Okay. All right. Oof. The koi fish spirit, there is always enough. Oh, expect abundance, pile number three. And you see here, it's water. Okay, your connection to water, isn't it the water pile? It's the water pile. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so there's going to be a lot of purging of the waters. Maybe that's what we talked about, you know, maybe the trauma response and you letting go of this. Some of you, maybe it's, I feel uh, in that empath survival kit, um, there is one frequency for the psoas, okay? And I really feel that it could be uh, powerful for you, okay? So some of you, especially if you have any type of hip tightness, okay. File number three, you're, you're just really... Um, really shifting your energy this season it's 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 really beautiful to watch i want to say this to you um if at any point in time you feel odd about this don't i feel like a lot of people are wanting to step into that energy and you're supporting that shift you're supporting them following their weird Remember this, okay? Weird, W-Y-R-D, is actually a word that means destiny, or fate. Okay, let's see what we have. Ooh, <laughs> the little flamingo. Embrace the in-between. This energy came up recently in my reels, okay? That's something you can go and check out also on my YouTube shorts. And that is such a cute energy about realizing that what excites you, excites your curiosity, all those like call to, um, to go and express yourself. It's part of your purpose and it's going to shift your reality and, and, and the way you're going to live your life and the way you're going to experience life pile number three. I do feel that some of you, especially because it's under the chamber, I feel the beacon of light. Okay, some of you, if you want to connect to the cosmos, okay, um, that's a great frequency. There's beautiful words, very much aligned with, you know, Christ consciousness. Maybe it's going to help you feel comfort into shining your light through that, that transitional phase because there's an in-between here. But really, I feel that if you're watching this, you're getting comfortable with this energy. I really do. Yes, the dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. Remember what I said, like follow pile number three. It's very important for you to uh, follow the steps through this Virgo season of the things that excite you, because that's going to really shine more light and more light onto your purpose, onto what fulfills you emotionally, mentally, even physically. There's a lot of abundance that wants to come forward. This is so interesting. I did not expect those cards. Oh, well, I knew this card was going to come up through this whole reading. I didn't know when. The bad spirit, a rebirth is assured. The way that I also love the energy of bats is because they're going through their direction. The way they navigate is through sonar energy. You know, they're just the sound and the way it echoes helps them navigate, which is a lot also in the ocean creatures that we find this type of pattern. So I feel that some of you here, pile number three, you're learning how to work with the echo and the feedback of the universe. It's almost like you're taking one step and then you see how it's coming back to you. It's like going to give you little clues and details. Maybe it's going to excite you this day about this. And then it's going to like 
allow you to step into this new version because there's a rebirth. So there's something that is emerging out of you, a version that is more empowered, a version that feels very much connected to your heart and soul. Uh, I would say oath of manifestation. There's certain things that you want to manifest on this earth, in this reality, I strongly feel um, is going to come through this Virgo season. Virgo is connected to the small intestine. So I would say, you know, pay attention to your level of joy. Make sure you take care of the things that bring you joy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see now. Some tarot cards. Is there any messages? And I feel like it's it's the joy that I want to look into. Can we have some guidance for pile number three about their joy? How to maintain that vibration? I'm hearing sky high. <laughs> okay, that's how high we want to go. Sure, let's roll. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Whoa, I love this. Look at this. The Three of Cups. Work with your spirit guides. Work with your angel team. Work with the cosmos, the stars, astrology, you know, things that are divine. Celebrate. Be part of maybe a soul sisterhood or, you know, brotherhood. Some type of gathering. You know, it's just like your connection to your soul tribe, definitely. Wow, I love the... I love the violet on this card. It's almost like I, I just, I want to, I want to drink it. I dr you know, some of you, okay. Some of you, that's a great exercise. Okay. I did not expect this to come through, but I'm going to share it because that's something that my soul partner shared with me. He works a lot with chakras and colors and he's the one when we went into nature, which I feel like can be supportive. And we were talking about ways to support you for your joy. He would make me pay attention to the colors of the nature we were witnessing and literally try to like when I was looking at the flowers, the colors, to breathe them in, to bring more. So some of you, I feel chakra healing definitely uh, could be supportive. You know what? I'm feeling that I want to look at maybe a planet here. Okay, so some of you, if you have access to the Soul Family YouTube membership, okay, you might want to review your Mars energy, okay, or you might want to look at also the meditation that I have available for Mars. But otherwise, I would work with the sun, sun frequency, okay? So I'm going to write this down for you, sun frequency. My, it seems that it's shifting whatever you're going through this Virgo season is shifting your fuel. Mars is our energy teacher of energy in motion that leads us to action. How do we manage this energy that we're holding? And obviously sometimes, just like an oil change, we need to purge what's in the tank. Okay, so I feel that some of you, maybe it's also an indication that you're releasing a lot of the karmic ties. Ah, yes, I really feel this. Some of you, you're releasing a lot of your karmic ties, the way you were talking about yourself, talking about your experience through, with others and things like that. Okay, so that's part of the support. Let's get another card for how to maintain our joy for pile number three. How to maintain our joy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, two of pentacles. Balance your schedule, pile number three. Make sure that you allow some time for working, but also just being. Uh, make sure maybe you... I don't know, some of you, maybe your hobbies, you have a certain hobby or you want to pick up a hobby. That's a great time for Virgo season. You know, uh, I personally crochet and I know when I crochet, I'm in a meditative state. I receive so much information. Okay. And see here at Sonar, I put it on the side, maybe some of you through your hobbies. And it could be at some point I was doing hot yoga. I... 
I was starting to see aura, was getting messages from people, from, you know, spirit guides, past lives, through my meditative practice. And I was like, what the heck is going on? And I was, you know, not even yet aware of this whole process of awakening to that level. I was at the beginning of the unveiling Okay, so some of you, if you're here watching this, you're probably already in that process, but there might be a certain way uh, to manage your schedule. And it could be even just through self-care. Some of you, maybe if you like to pamper yourself or just go to get a massage, get your nails done, whatever that is, uh, in that resting place, you could be receiving a lot of... um, personal guidance. That's what I feel for you. It is complete, my dear pile number three. That is a beautiful, and especially I want to reiterate the self-care, because here it's almost like that's like a sacred place for you. You need to to create sacred time for yourself for this season. You're moving a lot of energy. You are doing a lot of energy work, whether you realize it or not. And, you know, that that process of rebirth is, you know, energy costing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you so much, pile number three. I trust you received all the messages you needed at this time. And I'm sending you many blessings. Please remember to like those videos. It supports the channel to grow. Namaste. Pile number four or the fire element. You have chosen the See the Beauty card. And it says, Gratitude and the Sacred is Everywhere. When I was getting ready for your reading, I was feeling as if the sacred geometry was creating some type of remembrance. It really strongly feels like a yoni energy, like a womb energy, as if there is something through the honoring of your own presence, of your own especially feminine essence, the one that is intuitive, the one that is emotional, the one that is creative. Um, When you honor this place, this space, there's some type of remembrance. That's all I keep on hearing is remembrance. I want to show you also, I did not expect this, but this book that's on my desk just started to shine, like literally glow when I was getting ready. And I want to show it to you, Edgar Cayce on the Akashic Records. Okay, then there's something, and that's why, and then he kept on saying, like, like, remembrance, remember, remember. Kept on hearing, remember. So some of you, maybe this type of uh, book would be something that interests you, okay? I will put a link below uh, if you want to find it online and if you want to read it. That's all I'm going to say about this. But I do feel that there's some remembrance. And this is actually the Akashic Tarot. For some of you, it might be something about a past life, a past ability through Virgo season that wants to come forward. Let's see what we have for pile number four and the fire element. You know, it's interesting. Um, It feels like this specific season, this specific year, this specific timeline you're on, this specific frequency is allowing you to see this, to feel this, to know this. And I don't know why, but I'm being called to keep it this way. Hmm. It's so interesting to me how every pile always seems to have a very particular tone and energy. If you want to uh, listen to the collective message for that season, or you were called to pile uh, number one, this, this, the earth element is the one for the collective energy. Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't know what to think of it. (laughs) Maybe that's how you're going to react to a certain awareness. I don't know what to think of it. I don't know what to feel of it. Okay. But your presence is required. Okay, we have the Sandpiper Spirit. Be playful. 
Okay. The Four of Roses with views of the ego. Oh, wow. This is just so interesting. The mirror effect. Different timelines, different ways to react, different ways to view a pattern, a situation. Wow. Hmm. Thus, the requirement here to stay in gratitude. I'm going to share it now um, because I feel that some of you, you're through Virgo season, you're going through an up leveling that requires a view to, um, to purge an aspect of the ego, transcend a version of uh, a certain pattern, you know, a repetition. And with gratitude and this type of energy, I right away pick up on the Chiron uh, wounded healer. Okay. I created an, an, an album for karmic astrology to help with this type of entanglement to make sure that we're able to bring gratitude through the contrast, stay playful when we're maybe receiving certain awareness of certain patterns we're holding on to or that we had to experience. So we can see the up leveling, so we can see the higher purpose, we can see the higher light. So I'm going to put a link. If it's not here, you'll find it below because I have many links through those videos. You know, this is my way of supporting you deeper uh, than just, you know, things that I share with you. It is an attunement. It's a frequency. And here there's beautiful healing for you, pile number four or the fire element. So you can really shift I feel in some of you, it's going to allow you to quantum leap. This is what I'm seeing with the play playfulness and the views of the ego. Um, so you might want to review that playlist. And if you want, you can also watch the Chiron in retrograde um, reading right now. We're in Chiron retrograde in Aries. There's great messages about this. Okay. All right. The ground... I mean, I'm sorry, but everyone has seen like Groundhog Day. Like, what do we have here? Groundhog spirit. Time to let go. Whoa. Like, like are you here with me here? <laughs> like, what? So you, some of you, this is a, such a crucial pile energy here. You know, it's like you're being shown through the rehearsing of, we'll see some of the details of the things you can do, but th th this particular season, you're going to be able to shift quantum leap through seeing from the higher perspective, from, from also your playfulness towards maybe old patterns. You're going to be able to step into a different, <laughs> you heard time zone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> maybe some of you are moving. Okay, some of you maybe look into your astrocartography. I have to share it with you, okay? You can find this on many astrology websites, astro-seek or astro -dienz. You just go and check out astrocartography, which shows you the line of energy of certain planets on the map of the world. Some of you, uh, there's, there's, a, there's a clue there, okay? And maybe some of you, it's because... You've been into certain places and maybe you'll put certain details of information together. For example, let me share with you so you can understand what I mean. I lived in many places where my energy planets line would be exactly in on those cities. I do have certain planets in retrograde. And when I was in those energy lines, cities with the retrograde, those were very karmically charged experiences. I had to purge a lot of the review. When your planets are in retrograde or asteroids, they're here for a, a revision of a certain lesson. Okay. Some of us, we come with a bunch. Some of us, we came with less. 
Uh, some of us, it comes through the progression of our charts. Okay, there's no, you know, unfair, fair, whatever. It, it's it's something that you chose at, at a soul level for your personal growth. Okay, I needed to make that parenthesis because you guys know I love astrology. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's go back. Archangel Gabriel. Wow, that's like, that's the trumpet. That's like answering the call. That feels very much as through Virgo season, you're going to be called through following your bliss. So certain things are going to make you, I feel like, meet certain people, engage in certain activities, engage in certain conversation, where all of a sudden, some type of, activation is going to be created and it's part of this whole process the spirit with be peace okay and i feel like because i was going to use the word trigger but i felt like i didn't want to say the word trigger because i feel that some of you you're at that level where you're able to observe a little bit more of what's going on observe yourself in a situation that in the past used to trigger you mm -hmm. yeah i feel that some of you you at that level of witnessing some of the old triggers oh wow winged messengers i mean like look look at what two of roses first of all there's like some type of, i told you about encountering Look, wings, 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 and a portal. Oh my God, I told you about this quantum leap. It's just becoming more and more obvious as, <laughs> as the cards reveal themselves. Wow. So many messages from the divine for you pile number four through this phase to support you and tell you like whatever is being presented to you is an opportunity for you to let go remove whatever needs to be removed so you can be free so you can experience peace so you can experience such great beauty i would feel that for you especially with the letting go okay I would suggest, because I see it, like you see how it's like you're holding on so much to this little piece of heart. And some of you, maybe there is a past relationship or a pattern of what that relationship stems from. So some of you, you could be uh, in the past have attracted a lot of, uh, I was going to say narcissistic personalities and i literally heard for some of you predators <laughs> i'm sorry i just heard it and on that part of the video just before it was 11 11 there's an awakening through your relationship through virgo season pile number four or the fire element this is this is divinely orchestrated i do feel that ultimately if some of you are single, there's going to be making space for a sacred union. I have to share it, okay? But there's something as far as the pattern that needs to be to, to be revealed. So the frequency for this, mm, I have to. I have to because it's going to depend on on some of you. I would say first, surrender is the portal. Oh, yes, yeah, surrender is the portal, okay? And some of you, if your pattern of repetition is has been too strong, okay? And what I mean, it's like it's you on such a momentum. And there's no judgment from my part when I say this. I actually share this because I was one of those type of people. I was caught up in this. It was very hard for me to be playful about this. And the problem when, when you take away that playfulness, you're actually going back again and again in that loop. So some of you, if you want to break free from some of those repetitive pattern, I would say use my law of attraction and sacred union, okay? Sacred union uh, frequency, that's with the, it works with the law of attraction, okay? Yeah. Sacred union, law of attraction. 
beautiful again i will have all this listed because i have a bunch of frequencies i'm recommending or specific readings that might be supportive of you pile number four and i love doing this you know i i i personally love doing this because it's like one clue brings you to another clue brings you to another state of of, of wellness and I feel like you're going to want to learn about this type of process because the full story or the full understanding doesn't come always as as a whole knowing you're seeing you know uh, that it's like an onion you're peeling layers after layers you're seeing layers after layers you're seeing the truth the diamond the the, the, the gem gems I'm hearing that is held within all right so okay let's first ask how can we manifest this process in the most ease okay that's what i want to ask for you okay because this is how can we go through this process with the most ease three cards We have the Five of Cups. Okay. So I do feel here. You see here, it's again, there's a lot of letting go of old disappointments. Of maybe things that um, you used to create uh, out of the way you were thinking or feeling about a situation. It's definitely some um, deep, deep understanding about maybe again the Chiron moon some of you that might be this I do have a personal reading if some of you really are feeling the ails of that aspect the Chiron reading you know Chiron in your chart is helping you to become your own healer okay so there's there's a part of you that is learning how to heal yourself from understanding your own patterns of maybe self-sabotage or what you recreated again and again especially with this vortex energy what you're seeing mm -hmm. some of you if you are part of the youtube soul family membership i'm going to recommend the void frequency you know there's a lot of patterns sacred geometry in the void that helps you uh reframe this type of energy the other ones you know if you don't have access please make sure that you know, the surrender is great and the sacred union with the law of attraction works really well. So that's going to help. And then we have the eight of cups. Wow, a lot of cups, a lot of blue, a lot of peace that is being required. Whoa, I love this. And the ten of cups. Know that you're in a very blessed time as if i feel as some of you you needed to be at that level of awareness consciousness to be able to process all of this and literally quantum leap you're just going to stop repeating the old pattern some of you if you are single some of you you experience a divorce or you're not you know haven't had children yet or whatever that is that makes you feel that full spectrum of emotional fulfillment through Virgo season, you're really going through a process of, I'm feeling like a laundry cycle. You know, you're just cleansing and cleansing and cleansing, okay? And the only way that I'm seeing and I know how to recommend is through sound. You're going to let go. And I want to share with you one principle that I want you to pay attention because you have a lot of water. All those cards are water, okay? Emotions, okay? Purging the emotions, when I do uh, energy work, whether by myself or with the Soul Tribe, uh, the live meditations, I, after the sessions, there's some session is especially, and I can't know ahead of time what's going to create that effect or not, but there's a strong like need to go and go to the bathroom to purge and release all the water. Why is this happening? Because vibration, like in your cells, you have the core of the cell, the nucleus. And then you have all this water, molecular water that is around the cell. So when 
and it vibrates to a certain frequency. So here it might, let's say it vibrates to a certain pattern that keep you in that loop because of the trauma, the way you think about it, the way you feel about it, okay? And it vibrates to that frequency. You're bringing sound that is on that higher scale, that higher level. What it does, it starts to echo in that, let's say, unhealthy cell, and it starts to release the water that is a match to the old ill disease, discomforted pattern, and it has to recreate itself. And sometimes even it just dies and, you know, brings life to a new, new t type of cells. So you're working with your water. You're working with that type of um, depth. Depth. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I would say for some of you, if you want at night, if you don't have that much time for addressing this type of energy, fall asleep to the quantum fascia healing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's going to help you. I had a, a, a purge, <laughs> I had a phase in my life. I think it was last year. I can't remember, but probably around the summers, summertime where I was just falling asleep with that album and so much was being purged. Some of you, I'm going to give you an insight. Uh, if you struggle with water retention, believe it or not, sometimes the water we were holding on to, especially women, okay, it's because we're not letting go of emo certain emotional patterns. Yes, believe it or not. When I discovered that, I stopped struggling with a lot of my water retention problems. Acknowledge the wisdom of your body. Okay, so some of you, that's how you're going to know. That's what you need. Okay? I really feel this message is complete. It's just like really, really deep. Uh, you know what? I feel like some of you, you want to know what's behind, beyond. What's behind that portal? Okay? What can we expect? Yeah, we saw that. I feel like some of you, it's not enough to hear this. Maybe there's a lot that... I'm hearing disbelief. How can we work through this disbelief, pile number four? You know? Woo, 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 child. <laughs> okay. Some of you, there's a lot. You know what? I felt a lot of excuse. Oh, you know, things that you tell yourself. Look at this card was there. Okay. It could be, you know, too many attachment expectations. Okay. But it's coming. Oh, the Queen of Wands. I mean, you're going to... Okay, pile number four. This process, this Virgo season, which is very connected to following our joy because that's the meridian. That's the, the energy line of Virgo, okay? Through this process, you're going to become so magnetic and attractive, because you're going to let go of the old patterns. You're walking away. You're removing all those disappointments. You're finding peace. You're finding bliss first within yourself. That's going to make you feel so empowered, so attractive. You're, and also the fact that you're able to see things from a different perspective. You're almost like transcending an aspect of yourself that is really bringing about a whole different timeline. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I have for you, my dear pile number four. I'm sending you many blessings, much love and light. Please remember to like those videos. It supports the channel to grow. Namaste.